Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about systemic surgery starting with esophagus. First question, a 55 year old male had retrosternal discomfort unrelated to physical exertion. Pain gets worse after lying down. There is partial relief with antacids. The most likely diagnosis is hiatus hernia. Most common type of hiatal hernia is sliding hiatal hernia. In sliding hiatal hernia, gastroesophageal junction moves proximally. Trupet is posterior 180 degree wrap. Zenger's diverticulum is acquired diverticulum. It is a false diverticulum. Lateral x-rays on barium swallow of Zenger's diverticulum are diagnostic. Dolman's procedure is used in Zenger's diverticulum. Prompt repair is done in esophageal perforation. Most common presenting feature of esophageal carcinoma is dysphagia. Best investigation to look for T and N stage in esophageal carcinoma patient is endoscopic ultrasound. Margin of resection to be taken while operating in a patient of carcinoma esophagus is 10 cm. Anastomotic leak is the most common cause of death in Ivor Lewis esophageal cancer surgery. Treatment of choice for malignant tracheoesophageal fistula is SCMS, that is self expandable metallic stents. The conduits used for esophageal replacement after esophagectomy is stomach, colon, and jejunum. True features of leomyoma of esophagus are it is the most common benign tumor of esophagus. On barium, it shows a well demarcated lesion. Enucleation is the treatment of choice. Achalasia, alacrimia, adrenal insufficiency these all are features of all groove syndrome. Primary achalasia is because of loss of ganglion cells. Secondary achalasia is because of Chagas disease. In achalasia cardia, patient's risk of malignancy increases 20 to 25 times. POEM is a treatment option for achalasia. Esophageal diverticulum can be true or false diverticula. Zinger's diverticulum arises posteriorly in midline. Peribronchial diverticula are true diverticulum. Most common source of bleed after Mallory V syndrome is left gastric artery. A foreign body usually gets arrested above the cricopharynx. Schatzky ring occurs at lower part of esophagus. Schatzky ring involves mucosa and submucosa. It is located at squamocolumnar junction. Most common anomaly associated with tracheoesophageal fistula is ventricular septal defect. Most common type of tracheoesophageal fistula is type C. Investigation of choice for diagnosing each type tracheoesophageal fistula is tracheobronchoscopy. A newborn child has been referred to the hospital from the primary health center with respiratory distress. X-ray chest of the child showed congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Triad of congenital diaphragmatic hernia is respiratory distress, scaphoid abdomen, dextrocardia. Congenital diaphragmatic hernia is also known as Bochdelic's hernia. Bag and mask respiration is contraindicated here. Most important prognostic factor in congenital diaphragmatic hernia is pulmonary hypoplasia. Operative repair consists of tension-free closure of the defect using prosthetic mesh. Few cases of congenital diaphragmatic hernia can be bilateral. A patient presented with respiratory distress just after birth. On auscultation, you could hear bowel sounds in left chest. The patient already presented with respiratory distress also showed scaphoid abdomen as well as dextrocardia. The most likely diagnosis of this patient is congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Most common organ to herniate in Larry's hernia is transverse colon. True statements about Morgagni's hernia are Right-sided hernias are more common than left-sided hernias. Transverse colon is the most common organ to get herniated. Most of the patients are asymptomatic. Dysphagia lusoria. It is a vascular ring. It is a right aortic arch. It is due to aberrant subclavian artery causing pressure on esophagus. Structure passing through the esophageal hiatus is left vagus nerve, right vagus nerve and also left gastric artery. Macler's triad includes vomiting, subcutaneous emphysema, lower thoracic pain. Patient after a routine upper GI endoscopy presents with 
subcutaneous emphysema which is a feature of esophageal rupture upper gi endoscopy can lead to esophageal rupture just distal to the cricopharynx and thus the most probable diagnosis is esophageal rupture diagnosis of traumatic rupture of diaphragm is made by laparoscopy diaphragm develops from septum transversum pleuroperitoneal membrane and also cervical myotomes circumferential incision is taken for diaphragmatic surgery felin esophagus is eosinophilic esophagitis laryngopharyngo esophageal reflex is monitored by double probe ph monitoring serpiginous ulcers in lower esophagus on esophagoscopy are seen in cytomegalovirus esophagitis small punched out lesions on endoscopy in lower esophagus in the immunocompromised patient is seen in herpes simplex virus esophagitis dysphagia in esophagus means invasion of transmural normal lower esophageal sphincter pressure is 6 to 26 mm hg burhave syndrome may present with peritonitis in esophageal carcinoma prognosis is best determined by t stage a 60 year old patient with progressive dysphagia barium swallow was done in the barium study we can see apple core appearance it is a sign of esophageal carcinoma birds beak sign and pencil tip sign points towards achalasia commonest site of esophageal carcinoma is middle one third classification system used for esophageal motility disorder is chicago classification corkscrew esophagus is seen in diffuse esophageal spasm most common motility disorder leading to dysphagia is achalasia cardia in nissen's procedure that is nissen's fundoplication the degree is 360 degree fundoplication belsley mark is 270 degree anterior fundoplication door is 180 degree anterior fundoplication watson is 90 degree anterior wrap in nissen's fundoplication fundus is wrapped around back side of the esophagus and also wrap is secured with sutures to anchor lower esophagus below diaphragm theophylline exacerbates reflex esophagitis on an endoscopic ultrasound the submucosal layer of esophagus appears as layer 3 hyperechoic the motility disorder in esophagus seen more commonly in women with simultaneous repetitive contractions of high amplitude normal lower esophageal sphincter tone and degenerating branches of vagus is known as diffuse esophageal spasm regarding esophageal diverticula true statement is most traction diverticula arise within 4 to 5 cm proximal or distal to the carina epiphrenic diverticula can be pre malignant for squamous cell carcinoma of esophagus dolman's procedure is the endoscopic management of zenger's diverticulum true statements about dysphagia lusoria is developmental anomaly of arteries causes dysphagia vascular slings need treatment only in case if they are symptomatic aberrant right subclavian artery forms posterior compression of esophagus loss of ganglionic cells and also pressurization of esophagus can be seen in achalasia cardia a peristalsis in proximal dilated segment is seen in achalasia cardia 50 year old patient complains of hematemesis after retching and vomiting following a night of binge drinking upper gi endoscopy reveals a mucosal tear just below the gastroesophageal junction which is not actively bleeding the most appropriate next step in the management of this patient is expectant management this is a clinical scenario suggestive of mallory weiss tear which is usually a self limiting condition since there is no active bleeding on endoscopy patient just needs a supportive treatment and observation epiphrenic diverticula most commonly arises in the distal esophagus within 10 cm of gastroesophageal junction medications like anticholinergics barbiturates caffeine dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers dopamine estrogen nicotine nitrates progesterone tetracycline theophylline these all decreases lower esophageal sphincter pressure food materials like fatty meal 
കാമിനേറ്റീവ്സ് ലൈക്ക് പെപ്പർ മിൻറ്റ് ചോക്ലേറ്റ് കോഫി കോള ടീ ഗാർലിക് ഓണിയൻസ് ചില്ലി പെപ്പേഴ്സ് ഓൾക്കഹോൾ വൈൻ ദീസ് ഓൾ ഡിക്രീസസ് ലോവർ ഈസോഫേജിയൽ സ്പിൻറ്റർ പ്രഷർ ആസ്പിരിൻ ബിസ്ഫോസ്ഫുനേറ്റ്സ് എൻ എസ് എ ഡീസ് അയൺ ക്യുനിഡിൻ പൊട്ടാഷ്യം ക്ലോറൈഡ് ദീസ് ഓൾ ഡയറക്ട്ലി ഇറിറ്റേറ്റ്സ് ദ ഈസോഫേജിയൽ മ്യൂക്കോസ സ്പൈസി ഫുഡ്സ് ഓറഞ്ച് ജ്യൂസ് ടൊമാറ്റോ ജ്യൂസ് കോഫി ടൊബാക്കോ ദീസ് ഓൾ ആർ ഡയറക്റ്റ് ഇറിറ്റൻസ് ടു ദ ഈസോഫേജിയൽ മ്യൂക്കോസ ഓൺ ആൻ എൻഡോസ്കോപ്പിക് അൾട്രാസൗണ്ട് ഫൈവ് ലെയേഴ്സ് ആർ സീൻ ഇൻ ഈസോഫേഗസ് ദീസ് ലെയേഴ്സ് അപ്പിയർ ആസ് ഓൾട്ടർനേറ്റ് ഹൈപ്പർ എക്കോയിക് ആൻഡ് ഹൈപ്പോ എക്കോയിക് ഫസ്റ്റ് ലെയർ ഈസ് സൂപ്പർഫിഷ്യൽ മ്യൂക്കോസ വിച്ച് അപ്പിയേഴ്സ് ഹൈപ്പർ എക്കോയിക് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈറ്റ് കളർ സെക്കൻഡ് ലെയർ ഈസ് മസ്ക്യുലാരിസ് മ്യൂക്കോസ സബ് മ്യൂക്കോസ ഈസ് ദ തേർഡ് ലെയർ ആൻഡ് എഗെയിൻ ഹൈപ്പർ എക്കോയിക് ഫോർത്ത് ലെയർ ഈസ് മസ്ക്യുലാരിസ് പ്രോപ്രിയ ആൻഡ് ഫിഫ്ത് ലെയർ ഈസ് പെരി ഈസോഫേജിയൽ ടിഷ്യൂ ഡിഫ്യൂസ് ഈസോഫേജിയൽ സ്പാസം ഇസ് എ കണ്ടീഷൻ ക്യാരക്ടറൈസ്ഡ് ബൈ അൺകോർഡിനേറ്റഡ് കോൺട്രാക്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഈസോഫേഗസ് വിച്ച് മേ കോസ് ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ടി സ്വാലോയിങ് ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡിസ്പേജിയ ഓർ റീഗേജിറ്റേഷൻ It may cause symptoms such as chest pain which is similar to heart disease. On X-ray imaging, we can see corkscrew or rosary bead esophagus. Specialized testing called manometry can be performed to evaluate the motor function of the esophagus which can help to identify abnormal patterns of muscle contraction within the esophagus which is suggestive of diffuse esophageal spasm. The treatment of diffuse esophageal spasm consists of medications such as acid suppressing agents like proton pump inhibitors calcium channel blockers hyoscine butyl bromide or nitrates most common site of esophageal carcinoma is lower one third of esophagus in western countries most common site of esophageal carcinoma overall is middle one third of esophagus most common carcinoma in lower one third is adenocarcinoma most common carcinoma in middle one third is squamous cell carcinoma borhe syndrome may result in peritonitis it is caused by forceful vomiting against closed glottis it usually leads to rupture in lower part of esophagus it is a type of esophageal perforation and lead to mediastinitis it is not kept or managed conservatively Laryngopharyngeal reflex is the retrograde flow of gastric contents into the larynx, oropharynx and nasopharynx. Laryngopharyngeal reflex causes respiratory symptoms such as cough and wheezing and it is often associated with head and neck complaints such as dysphonia, globus pharyngitis and dysphagia. It may cause other diseases such as sinusitis, otitis media, rhinitis and can be a comorbidity of asthma. Diagnosis of laryngopharyngeal reflex requires a documented evidence of fall in pH levels in the laryngopharynx with dual probe 24 hour ambulatory pH metry. Larry's hernia is also known as retrosternal hernia or morgagnes hernia. Most common organ to herniate in this condition is transverse colon. The most common anomaly associated with tracheoesophageal fistula is cardiac anomalies and in cardiac anomalies it is VSD. Tracheoesophageal fistula is associated with vector L group of anomalies. Vector L group means V for vertebral, A for anal atresia, C for cardiovascular lesions like PDA, VSD, TE for tracheoesophageal fistula, R for renal lesions that means like unilateral renal egenesis, L for limb anomalies like radial ray hypoplasia. Types of tracheoesophageal fistula is type A, esophageal atresia with no tracheoesophageal fistula, type B, proximal tracheoesophageal fistula with atritic distal end type C is the most common that is proximal atresia with distal tracheoesophageal fistula type D atresia with both proximal and distal tracheoesophageal fistula type E tracheoesophageal fistula or H type All group syndrome is also known as triple A syndrome which includes alacrimia ecclesia and adrenal insufficiency POEM that is per oral endoscopic myotomy it combines the minimally invasive benefit of endoscopy with the durability of a surgical myotomy GERD is managed by medical drugs which prevents the acid reflux and in later stage we need to do a fundoplication for GERD leomyoma of esophagus is managed by inoculation barrett's esophagus can be managed by ablation of the mucosa followed by fundoplication 
Primary achalasia is a condition where we have loss of ganglion cells in the lower part of esophagus. Secondary achalasia develops in Chagas disease caused by Trypanosoma cruzi which leads to destruction of ganglion cells. Zenger's diverticulum starts as a midline swelling between fibers of thyropharyngeus and cricopharyngeus posteriorly but comes to lie in a lateral position mostly on the left side as the diverticulum progresses. Macler's triad includes chest pain, vomiting and subcutaneous emphysema. It is only present in 14% of the patients. Pain can usually radiate to left shoulder causing physicians to confuse an esophageal perforation with a myocardial infarction. It may also be audibly recognized as hum and sign. Three week old patient presenting with vomiting and failure to thrive is found to have pyloric stenosis. Next step of management is correction of electrolyte disturbances. True about hypertrophic pyloric stenosis is, it is present at 4 weeks, firstborn male is commonly affected, Ramstead operation is done. Investigation of choice for congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis is ultrasound. Gastric conduit is based on right gastric artery. True statements about gastric volvulus is it is associated with Borchardt triad, organoaxial volvulus is associated with diaphragmatic defect, mesendroaxial volvulus tends to be recurrent. Most common site of peptic ulcer is first part of duodenum. Type 2 gastric ulcer is associated with increased gastric acid secretion. Percentage of patients with perforated peptic ulcer who show free gas under the diaphragm is 75%. Posterior perforation of peptic ulcer drain into omental bursa. A 30-year-old male presented with massive hematemesis. A 2 into 2 cm ulcer was visualized on upper GI endoscopy on the posterior aspect of first part of duodenum. The bleeding vessel was visualized but bleeding could not be controlled endoscopically. Blood transfusion was done and patient was planned for surgery. His BP was 90 by 70 mm Hg. Pulse rate was 110 per minute with hemoglobin 9 gram at the time of surgery. The best surgical management is duodenotomy with ligation of bleeding vessels, truncal vagotomy and pyloroplasty. PPI for peptic ulcer disease should be taken before breakfast. Pyloroplasty of choice when the duodenum is fibrosed and contracted is finny pyloroplasty. Treatment of high-lying ulcer near gastroesophageal junction is pouchet procedure, kelling matlener operation, Sendes procedure. Maximal reduction in gastric acidity is achieved by truncal vagotomy and antrectomy. Most common metabolic complication of gastrectomy is iron deficiency anemia. Starch is not beneficial for dumping syndrome. It increases the signs and symptoms of dumping syndrome. Dumping syndrome is more common in patients who have been subjected to vagotomy. One of the treatment options for dumping syndrome is eating small frequent meals. This is beneficial for the patients of dumping syndrome as it reduces the amount of hyperosmolar substances entering into the small intestine. Early dumping syndrome presents with diarrhea and bloating sensation. Early dumping syndrome means it occurs 10 to 30 minutes after a meal. It results from rapid movement of fluid into the intestine following a sudden addition of large amount of food from the stomach. The small intestine expands rapidly due to presence of hypertonic or hyperosmolar contents from the stomach, especially sweet foods. This causes symptoms due to the shift of fluid into the intestinal lumen with plasma volume contraction and acute intestinal distension. Osmotic diarrhea, distension of the bubble leading to crampy abdominal pain and reduced blood volume can result early dumping syndrome. Duodenal blowout following Bilroth gastrectomy most commonly occurs on fourth day. A patient who has been operated for Bilroth type 2 surgery develops seizures. Patient had taken lunch three hours before this episode. The serum blood glucose of the patient value came 40 mg per deciliter. The diagnosis of the patient is late dumping syndrome. Most common cause of upper gastrointestinal tract bleeding is peptic ulcer. In the forest classification for bleeding peptic ulcer with a visible vessel of pigmented protuberance is classified as F2A. 
ട്രൂ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് അബൌട്ട് മാലറി വി സിൻഡ്രോം ഈസ് ഓൾക്കഹോൾ ഈസ് എൻ അസോസിയേറ്റഡ് എറ്റിയോളജി കൺസർവേറ്റീവ് ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് എഫക്റ്റീവ് ഇൻ മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ കേസസ് ആൻറ്റി റിഫ്ലക്സ് പ്രൊസീജർ ഡസ് ഇൻ ഹാവ് ആഡഡ് അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് ട്രൂ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് അബൌട്ട് ഡൈ യുലാ ഫോയിസ് ലീഷൻ ഈസ് എൻഡോസ്കോപ്പിക് ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി ഗിവൺ പൾസേഷൻ ഓഫ് ആർട്രി കോസസ് അൾസറേഷൻസ് ഇറ്റ് കോസസ് ലീഷൻ ഇൻ ദ സബ്മ്യൂക്കോസൽ ആർട്രി ട്രൂ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് അബൌട്ട് ജി എ വി ഇ ഈസ് ഡയലേറ്റഡ് സബ്മ്യൂക്കോസൽ വീനസ് പ്ലെക്സസ് പ്രസൻറ്റ് ബ്ലീഡിംഗ് ഈസ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് കോമൺ പ്രസൻറ്റേഷൻ ആർഗൺ ലേസർ ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ഹിയർ വാട്ടർമെലൻ സ്റ്റൊമക് ഈസ് ജി എ വി ഇ ജി എ വി ഇ ഈസ് ഗ്യാസ്ട്രിക് ആൻട്രൽ വാസ്കുലർ എക്റ്റേസിയ ഇൻ ജി എ വി ഇ വി ഹാവ് ഡയലേറ്റഡ് മ്യൂക്കോസൽ ബ്ലഡ് വെസൽസ് ഇൻ ലാമിന പ്രോപ്രിയ ഓഫൻ കണ്ടെയ്നിങ് ത്രോംബൈ വിത്ത് നോ എവിഡൻസ് ഓഫ് വാസ്കുലർ മാൽഫോമേഷൻ ഓൺ ആൻജിയോഗ്രാഫിക് ആൻഡ് മോഫോളജിക് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ മ്യൂക്കോസൽ വൈബ്രോ മസ്കുലർ ഹൈപ്പർ പ്ലേസിയ ആൻഡ് ഹൈലനൈസേഷൻ ആർ ഓഫൻ പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് പ്രീ ഡൊമിനൻ്റ്ലി അഫക്ട്സ് ദ ഡിസ്റ്റൽ പോർഷൻ ദറ്റ് ഇസ് ആൻഡ്രം ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റൊമക്ക് ദ ലീഷൻസ് ആർ ട്രീറ്റഡ് ബൈ എൻഡോസ്കോപ്പിക് കോട്ടറി ആൻഡ് അർഗൺ ലേസർ ഇൻ പേഷ്യൻസ് വിത്ത് പോർട്ടൽ ഹൈപ്പർ ടെൻഷൻ ടി ഐ പി എസ് ഷുഡ് ബി കൺസിഡേർഡ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ജി എ വി ഇ ഗ്രോസ് എൻഡോസ്കോപ്പിക് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ റിവീൽസ് പ്രോമിനൻറ്റ് ലോഞ്ചിറ്റ്യൂഡിനൽ ഫോൾസ് വിത്ത് പാരലൽ സ്ട്രൈക്കിംഗ് റെഡ് സ്ട്രൈപ്സ് എറ്റോ ദ മ്യൂക്കോസൽ ഫോൾസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡിസ്റ്റൽ സ്റ്റൊമക്ക് ലൈക്ക് ദ റെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ വാട്ടർ മെലൺ Menetria disease is acquired premalignant disease of the stomach characterized by massive gastric folds, excessive mucus production with resultant protein loss and little or no acid production. The disorder is associated with excessive secretion of transforming growth factor alpha. Menetria's disease is characterized by excessive protein loss, excessive mucus production and diarrhea. About menetrius disease, H. pylori is a predisposing factor in adults. Most common benign tumor of the stomach is adenoma. The commonest gastric polyp is hyperplastic polyp. E. catherine is more often mutated in diffuse type of gastric cancer. According to Borman classification, linitis plastica is type 4. Japanese classification system is used for early gastric cancer. Level 9 lymph node includes celiac nodes. Gastric lymph node station number 5 is suprapyloric. Trogeous sign is left supraclavicular lymphadenopathy. Sister Joseph's nodule may indicate cancer of stomach, large bowel and also ovary. Most common site of carcinoma of stomach is gastric antrum. Presenting symptom of carcinoma stomach is weight loss. Locally invasive gastric carcinoma, investigation of choice to know the depth of cancer invasion is EUS. Cell of origin in GIST is mesenchymal. True statements about GIST is stomach is the most common site, can present with bleeding, it can present with peritoneal metastasis. Sunitinib is used in GIST. True statements about stomach lymphoma is Most common type is NHL that is non Hodgkin's lymphoma it is of large B cell type this is chemo sensitive treatment of gastric lymphoma includes chemotherapy radiotherapy surgery and the H pylori treatment indication of surgery in gastric lymphoma are bleeding perforation residual disease after chemotherapy treatment of choice for localized GIST is segmental resection For high risk cases of GIST of size more than 10 cm imatinib therapy is given for 3 years treatment of choice for duodenal atresia is duodeno duodenostomy true about gastric bezoar is it is caused by ingestion of fruits vegetables fibers and hairs in rapunzel syndrome bezoar has a tail like extension into the small bowel it increases the chance of gastric ulceration Gastric ulcer associated with blood group A is type 1 gastric ulcer. Direct branch of celiac trunk is left gastric artery, splenic artery, common hepatic artery. Stress induced ulcers are most commonly found in the fundus of stomach. Most common epithelial tumors of stomach is carcinoid. Finny stricture plasty is done when the length of the bowel stricture is 10 to 15 cm. R glass stomach is seen in gastric ulcer. Most common cause of hypergastrinemia is atrophic gastritis. Criminal nerve of Grassi is proximal branch of posterior vagus. Peritoneal dissemination of gastric cancer can be best detected by laparoscopy. 
all of the following indicates early gastric cancer are involvement of mucosa involvement of mucosa and submucosa involvement of mucosa submucosa and adjacent lymph nodes irish lymph node is commonly seen in carcinoma stomach h pylori causes type b gastritis 1 to 11 lymph node stations are removed in d2 gastrectomy A 55 year old male patient follows up in your OPD 1 month after you performed distal gastrectomy with pilroth to reconstruction for his perforated gastric ulcer the histopathology report does not show any evidence of malignancy on her follow up visit he no longer has the burning epigastric pain but complains of bloating and severe abdominal cramps soon after meals followed by profuse diarrhea sweating and dizziness these symptoms appeared shortly after he recovered from surgery and have not improved since then he can be advised with dietary modifications majority of these symptoms will improve he should separate the ingestion of liquids from solids none of the surgical treatments of this condition is uniformly successful true statements about autoimmune gastritis are antibodies to parietal cells and intrinsic factor are seen in gastric secretions antral endocrine cell hyperplasia is present here hypochlorhydria present true statements about menetrius disease is diffuse hyperplasia of the foveolar mucus cells increased risk of gastric adenocarcinoma and hypoproteinemia present in menetrius disease intestinal metaplasia microsatellite instability germline mutation in cdh1 coding for e cadherin these all are risk factor for adenocarcinoma stomach carbohydrates in the antrum does not affect gastrin release antral acidification gastric distension somatostatin release these all affects the gastrin release a 50 year old male with history of peptic ulcer presents to emergency with hematemesis upper gi endoscopy reveals active pulsatile bleeding from a posteriorly located duodenal ulcer even after two attempts of controlling the bleeding endoscopically the bleeding continues the patient has received four units of blood his hematocrit is 28 percentage his pulse rate is 114 per minute and bp is 112 by 64 mm hg the most appropriate management in this patient should be duodenotomy oversieving the ulcer truncal vagotomy and pyloroplasty the most common nutritional deficiency seen after gastric resection is iron true statements about gastric volvulus is gastric volvulus is associated with diaphragmatic defect gastric volvulus presents with borchardt striad organo axial volvulus is the commonest type of gastric volvulus gastric conduit is based on right gastric artery and right gastroepiploic artery left gastric artery is the most common cause of bleed in mallory v syndrome gastroduodenal artery is the main source of bleeding in posteriorly perforating duodenal ulcer left gastroepiploic is a branch of splenic artery h pylori is associated with more than 90 percentage case of duodenal ulcer and around 80 percentage case of gastric ulcer Incisura angularis is the most common site of gastric ulcer. Johansson gave the classification of gastric ulcers. It is as follows: Type 1 occurs at incisura angularis and it is the most common type. Type 2 and type 3 are associated with increased gastric acid secretion. Type 4 occurs along lesser curvature. Type 5 is NSAID induced. Investigation of choice for detecting free gas in peritoneal cavity is CT scan. most common metabolic complication after gastrectomy is iron deficiency anemia complication of vagotomy is secondary to gastric resection it can cause dumping syndrome and also metabolic disturbances secondary to gastric reconstruction it can cause afferent lobe syndrome efferent lobe obstruction alkaline reflux gastritis retained antrum syndrome post vagotomy syndrome includes post vagotomy diarrhea post vagotomy gastric atony incomplete vagal transection these all are the complications of vagotomy duodenal stump blow out is massive leakage from duodenal stump following bilroth to gastrectomy 
Clinical features is it usually occurs on 4th to 7th post-operative day. Usually presents as sudden intense thoracoabdominal pain, sudden elevation in pulse and temperature or generalized deterioration of condition. Treatment is adequate drainage must be instituted immediately which is done putting catheter through an incision below the right coastal margin. TPN should be instituted and attention should be directed towards fluid and electrolyte therapy. Fistula closure can be anticipated within 2 to 3 weeks. Japanese classification is for early gastric cancer. Borman classification is for advanced gastric cancer. Borman classification includes type 1 polypoid, type 2 ulcerating, type 3 ulcerating or infiltrating, type 4 infiltrating that is linitis plastica or linitis plastica. Numbering of lymph nodes according to old classification of Japanese Research Society for Gastric Cancer is 1. Right cardiac nodes 2. Left cardiac nodes 3. Nodes along the lesser curvature 4. Nodes along the greater curvature 5. Suprapyloric nodes 6. Infrapyloric nodes 7. Nodes along the left gastric artery 8. Nodes along the common hepatic artery 9. Nodes around celiac axis 10 nodes at the splenic hilus, 11 nodes along the splenic artery, 12 nodes in the hepatoduodenal ligament, 13 nodes at the posterior aspect of the pancreas head, 14 nodes at the root of mesentrium, 15 nodes in the mesocolon of the transverse colon, 16 paraiotic lymph nodes. Trozier sign is the clinical finding of hard and enlarged left supraclavicular node that is virtuous node. It is considered as a sign of metastatic abdominal malignancy. System Mary Joseph nodules are seen in gastric cancer, colonic cancer, ovarian cancer, uterine cancer and also pancreatic cancer. Most common site of Burkitt's lymphoma is cardiac region of stomach. Most common site of gastric carcinoma in pernicious anemia patients is fundus of the stomach. Most common site of carcinoma stomach is gastric antrum. Most common presenting feature of carcinoma stomach patient is weight loss. Chemotherapy drugs used for colorectal cancer is gemcitabine, 5-fluorouracil, oxaliplatin, albumin-bound paclitaxel, capacitabine, cisplatin and irinotecan. Treatment of choice for SMA syndrome is duodenojejunostomy. Bishop Coop procedure is used for meconium ileus. Treatment for gastric outlet obstruction is gastrojejunostomy. Treatment of choice for duodenal atresia is duodenoduodenostomy. Type 1 gastric ulcer is associated with blood group A. Type 2, type 3, type 4 gastric ulcers are associated with blood group O. There are three types of gastrectomy, D1, D2 and D3. In D1 gastrectomy, we remove lymph node stations from lymph node 1 to 6. In D2 gastrectomy, we remove lymph node stations from lymph node 1 to 11. In D3 gastrectomy, we remove lymph node stations from lymph node 1 to 16. Decreased serum pepsinogen is a sensitive and specific marker of gastric atrophy. Meckel's diverticulum is a true diverticulum as it has all the three layers of the intestine. It is located on the anti-mesentric border of the ileum, 45 to 60 cm proximal to the ileocecal valve. It results from incomplete closure of omphalomesentric or vitello-intestinal duct. Most common clinical presentation of Meckel's diverticulum is GI bleeding. Hemorrhage is the most common symptomatic presentation in children less than or equal to 2 years. Hemorrhage is manifested as painless bright red color from the rectum with intermittent episodes persisting without treatment. Source of bleeding is chronic acid-induced ulcer in the ileum adjacent to Meckel's diverticulum that contains gastric mucosa. Duodenal diverticula is the second most common site for diverticular formation after the colon. It is asymptomatic and found incidentally require no treatment. Most common and most effective treatment for symptoms or complications of duodenal diverticula is diverticulectomy. Major complications of duodenal diverticula are obstruction of the biliary or pancreatic duct leading to cholangitis and pancreatitis, hemorrhage, perforation and also blind loop syndrome. 
The Fleschner sign, also known as inverted umbrella sign, refers to widely gaping thickened patchulous ileocecal valve and a narrowed ulcerated terminal ileum associated with tuberculous involvement of the ileocecum. The Stirling sign refers to repeated emptying of the cecum seen radiographically as barium remaining in the terminal part of ileum and in the transverse colon. This occurs due to irritation of the cecum caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. Indication of surgery in GI tuberculosis is intestinal obstruction secondary to stricture which is the most common indication, free perforation, severe GI hemorrhage, intra-abdominal abscess, internal or external fistula. Treatment of choice in annular pancreas is duodeno-duodenostomy. Treatment of choice in duodenal atresia is diamond-shaped duodeno-duodenostomy. Treatment of choice in SMA syndrome is duodeno-jejunostomy. SMA syndrome is caused by vascular compression of third portion of the duodenum by the superior mesenteric artery as it passes over this portion of the duodenum. It is also known as Wilkie syndrome, CAST syndrome, arteriomesenteric duodenal ileus or compression. Symptoms of SMA syndrome include profound nausea and vomiting, abdominal distension, weight loss and postprandial epigastric pain which varies from intermittent to constant depending on the severity of the duodenal obstruction. Enteric fever is caused by Salmonella typhi or Paratyphi. Typhoid is the most common cause of ileal perforation in tropical countries. Ulceration and necrosis occur in ileocecal pears patches. The ulcer is parallel to the long axis of the gut and it is usually situated in the lower ileum. This ulcer is known as longitudinal ulcers. Perforation of a typhoid ulcer usually occurs here. Classification of intestinal atresia includes type 1 membranous atresia with intact bowel and mesentery, type 2 blind ends separated by a fibrous cord, type 3a blind ends separated by a v-shaped mesenteric defect, Type 3b apple peel atresia or Christmas tree atresia. Type 4 multiple atresias that is string of sausages. Factors preventing spontaneous fistula closure includes foreign body in the fistula tract, fistula tract less than 2.5 cm long, epithelialization of fistula tract, undrained abscess cavity, distal obstruction, radiation enteritis, cancer, active inflammatory bowel disease of bowel segment, severe disruption of intestinal continuity, high output more than 500 ml per day. Cutaneous melanoma is the most common extra abdominal source to involve the small intestine. Others include adenocarcinoma of the breast and carcinoma of the lung. IPSID that is IPSID. Full form of IPSID is immunoproliferative small intestine disease. It is an infectious pathogen associated human lymphoma that has association with Campylobacter jejuni. Ipsid is associated with excessive plasma cell differentiation and produces truncated alpha heavy chain proteins lacking the light chains as well as the first constant domain. Treatment of Ipsid is early stage Ipsid response to antibiotics. Most untreated Ipsid patients progress to lymphoplasmacytic and immunoblastic lymphoma. Patients not responding to antibiotic therapy are considered for treatment with combination chemotherapy used to treat low-grade lymphoma. Most common site of pneumatosis intestinalis is jejunum more than ileocecal region more than colon but it can occur at any part of intestine. Most commonly occurs in the 4th to 7th decade of life. Pneumatosis in neonates is usually associated with necrotizing enterocolitis. Intestinal duplications are mucosa-lined structures that are in continuity with the GI tract. Most common site of duplication is ileum, that is, within the leaves of the mesentery. Intestinal duplications are located along mesentric border which contain all the three layers of bowel. Most common tumor of small bowel is leomyoma more than adenoma. Most common tumor of small bowel in children is lymphoma. Most common malignant tumor of small bowel is carcinoid more than adenocarcinoma. Most common site of small bowel malignancy, carcinoid and lymphoma is ileum. Duodenum is the most common site of atresia and adenocarcinoma. Jejunum is most common site of pneumatosis intestinalis and also angiodysplasia. 
ഇലിയം ഇസ് മോസ്റ്റ് കോമൺ സൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഡ്യൂപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ അഡിനോമ ലൈപ്പോമ ലിംഫോമ ലിയോമയോമ കാർസനോയ് ട്യൂമർ വിത്ത് ലീസ്റ്റ് മാലിഗ്നൻ പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ ഈസ് റെക്റ്റം ഫോളോഡ് ബൈ ബ്രോങ്കസ് ആൻഡ് ലങ് കാസനോയിഡ് ട്യൂമർ വിത്ത് മാക്സിമം മാലിഗ്നൻ പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ ഈസ് പാൻക്രിയാറ്റിക് കാസനോയിഡ് ഫോളോഡ് ബൈ സ്മോൾ ഇൻഡസ്റ്റൈൻ ഫ്ലീഷ്ണർ സൈൻ ഓൺ ബേരിയം സ്റ്റഡി ഈസ് സീൻ ഇൻ ഇലിയോസീക്കൽ ടി ബി മോസ്റ്റ് കോമൺ ഇൻഡിക്കേഷൻ ഫോർ ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ഇൻ ട്യൂബക്ലോസിസ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഡസ്റ്റൈൻ ഈസ് ഒബ്സ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ഇൻഡസ്റ്റൈൻ കാൻ ടോൾട്രേറ്റ് എ മാക്സിമം ഡോസ് ഓഫ് റേഡിയേഷൻ അപ് ടു ഫോർ തൗസൻഡ് ആർ എ ഡി ടൈഫോയിഡ് പെർഫറേഷൻ ഒക്കേഴ്സ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് തേർഡ് വീക്ക് കണ്ടെയിൻ ടാബ്സസ് ഡിജിറ്റൽ ഒബ്സ്ട്രക്ഷൻ റേഡിയേറ്റിംഗ് എൻട്രൈറ്റിസ് ദീസ് ഓൾ ആർ അസോസിയേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് നോൺ ഹീലിംഗ് ഓഫ് ഫിസ്റ്റുല ആപ്പിൾ പീൽ ബവൽ വിത്ത് ലോസ് ഓഫ് ഡോസൽ മേസൻട്രി ഈസ് ഫീച്ചർ ഓഫ് ടൈപ്പ് ത്രീ ഇലിയൽ അട്രീഷ്യ മോസ്റ്റ് കോമൺ സൈറ്റ് ഫോർ കാസനോയിഡ് ട്യൂമർ ഈസ് അപ്പൻഡിക്സ് മോസ്റ്റ് കോമൺ പ്രൈമറി ഫോർ സ്മോൾ ബവൽ മെറ്റസ്റ്റാസിസ് ഈസ് മെലനോമ മാലബ്സോപ്ഷൻ ഈസ് മോസ്റ്റ് പ്രോമിനൻറ്റ് ഫീച്ചർ ഓഫ് ഇമ്മ്യൂണോ പ്രോലിഫറേറ്റീവ് സ്മോൾ ഇൻഡസ്റ്റൈൻ ഡിസീസ് ന്യൂമെറ്റോസിസ് ഇൻഡസ്റ്റൈനാലിസ് ഇസ് ഡയഗ്നോസ്റ്റിക് ഓഫ് നെക്രോട്ടൈസിംഗ് എൻഡറോകോളൈറ്റിസ് മോസ്റ്റ് കോമൺ മാലിഗ്നൻസി ഓഫ് സ്മോൾ ബവൽ ഈസ് കാസനോയിഡ് ട്യൂമർ A 40-year-old male who has been a smoker since last 15 years presents to the emergency with sudden onset severe pain abdomen. He gives history of occasionally consuming alcohol also. On clinical examination, he has a rigid abdomen and avoids movement. An erect chest radiograph done before you saw the patient shows a thin stripe of free air under the right dome of diaphragm. The next step in the management of this patient should be optimization and preparation of the patient for urgent surgery. A 33-year-old male undergoes resection with end-to-end anastomosis for ileal perforation. On 6th post-operative day, small bowel fluid starts draining through the incision with the fascia remaining intact. The fistula output is 200 ml per day with no fever and no evidence of intra-abdominal collection on CT scan. The most appropriate treatment strategy for the patient is total parenteral nutrition. Crohn's disease can be seen in mouth to anus. Cobblestone appearance is seen in Crohn's disease. String sign of canter is seen in Crohn's disease. True statement about Crohn's disease is granuloma present frequently. It is a separate and distinct form of ulcerative colitis. Cigarette smoking is a risk factor. True statement regarding anorectal Crohn's disease is ulceration and fistula is common. Fistula are painless and indurated. Non-cutting sittens are used in management. Ulcerative colitis starts from rectum. Crohn's disease is best diagnosed by enteroclysis. Characteristic of Crohn's disease is transmural involvement with skip lesions or discunt lesions. True statements about ulcerative colitis include terminal ileum may be involved, malignancy can be seen after 10 years, cryptapsis is pathognomic. Ulcerative colitis can be differentiated from Crohn's disease by rectal sparing, discontinuous or skip lesions, deep longitudinal ulcers. Pseudopolyp is seen in ulcerative colitis, rectal sparing, discontinuous or skip lesion and also deep longitudinal ulcer. These all are seen in Crohn's disease. Ulcerative colitis involves lamina propria, mucosa, submucosa. In a 27-year-old male, most common cause of colovesical fistula would be Crohn's disease. The commonest site of involvement in the Crohn's disease is terminal ileum. The indication of colonoscopy in a patient with ulcerative colitis are diagnosis of extent of inflammation, differentiating it from Crohn's disease, monitoring the response to treatment. Crohn's disease is associated with node 2 or CARD15 gene. In ulcerative colitis, after colectomy, least likely to resolve is PSC. PSC means primary sclerosing cholangitis. Association of ulcerative colitis are erythema nodosum, sclerosing cholangitis, aphthous stomatitis. Most common stones in ulcerative colitis are oxalate stones. Surgical indications in inflammatory bowel diseases are obstruction, perianal complication, stricture and also malignancy. True statements about inflammatory bowel disease include 2% case of Crohn's disease undergo malignant changes. Salazopyrin is used for the treatment of ulcerative colitis. Sulfur salazin exerts its primary action in ulcerative colitis by inhibition of formation of prostaglandins. 
ബെസ്റ്റ് ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഫോർ റെമിഷൻ ഓഫ് അക്യൂട്ട് അൾസറേറ്റീവ് കോളൈറ്റസ് ഈസ് പ്രഗ്നിസോളോൺ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് ഡിസ്പ്ലേസിയ ഓൺ കൊളോണിക് ബയോപ്സി ടോക്സിക് മെഗാ കോളോൺ ഫെയിലിയർ ഓഫ് റെസ്പോൺസ് ടു മെഡിക്കൽ തെറാപ്പി ഓഫ് അക്യൂട്ട് കോളൈറ്റസ് ദീസ് ഓൾ ആർ ഇൻഡിക്കേഷൻ ഫോർ സർജറി ഇൻ അൾസറേറ്റീവ് കോളൈറ്റസ് Malignancy arising from ulcerative colitis takes at least 10 years to develop. It is associated with dysplasia of rest of the colon. Younger age of onset is associated with increased chance of carcinoma. Toxic megacolon is seen in ulcerative colitis. Treatment of choice in toxic megacolon is total colectomy. Most common cause of death in Crohn's disease is due to malignancy. A patient of Crohn's disease underwent resection anastomosis. Now presents on 7th post-operative day with anastomotic leak from a fistula. Every day leakage volume adds up to 150 to 200 ml. There is no intra-abdominal collection and the patient is stable without any complaints. The next line of management is conservative treatment and leave him and hope for the spontaneous resolution. longitudinal ulcers or serpiginous ulcers abdominal mass and also perianal fissures and fistula these all are seen in crohn's disease mucosal friability is seen in ulcerative colitis incidence of pouchitis in patients treated for ulcerative colitis with ileal pouch anal anastomosis is 7 to 33 percentage epicolic node is the node draining colon true about colonic organisms is colon 10 raised to 10 to 10 raised to 11 organisms anti peristalsis is seen in proximal colon mass movement of the colon would be abolished by destruction of obac plexus pectin starch and glucose these all are degraded by colonic flora true about strangulation of intestine is it is usually venous blood flow that is affected first Most common cause of hyponatremia in surgical practice is small intestinal obstruction. Best investigation for acute intestinal obstruction is X-ray. The most common cause of small intestinal obstruction is iatrogenic adhesions. Acute intestinal obstruction is characterized by vomiting which is common in duodenal obstruction. In colonic obstruction, distension is common than vomiting. Colicky pain to steady pain indicates strangulation. A 30 year old lady presented with acute pain abdomen constipation and vomiting suspecting acute intestinal obstruction the investigation of choice for the patient is x-ray abdomen erect posture a woman of 35 year old comes to emergency department with symptoms of pain in abdomen and bilious vomiting but no distension of bowel abdominal x-ray showed no air fluid level diagnosis is duodenal obstruction Atresia of the third part of duodenum will always present with bilious vomiting. Distended abdomen in intestinal obstruction is mainly due to swallowed air. In case of newborn the commonest cause of intestinal obstruction is duodenal atresia. Regarding adhesive intestinal obstruction true statement is avoid surgery for initial 48 to 72 hours. The first to appear in case of acute intestinal obstruction is colicky pain. Best way to diagnose lower small intestinal obstruction is multiple air gas shadows on x-ray. Ileal obstruction due to round worm obstruction treatment is enterotomy, removal of worms and primary closure. A neonate presents with colicky pain and vomiting with sausage shaped lump in the abdomen. Diagnosis is intersusception. True statements about adult intersusception are resection of bowel is adequate for large bowel intersusception hydrostatic reduction with barium or air are done if bowel is not gangrenous lead point present in majority of cases intersusception usually begins from terminal ileum a child was operated for small intestine mass with intersusception and after the operation the tumor was diagnosed in histological section The most likely tumor associated with this case is lymphoma. Intersusception is present in the outer layer. A 10 month old infant presents with acute intestinal obstruction. Contrast enema x-ray showed intersusception. Likely cause is Peyer's patch hypertrophy. Features of intersusception are pincer sign, dan sign, target sign, coiled spring sign. Recurrent obstruction, mass per rectum and diarrhea in child is suggestive of intersusception intersusception is frequently associated with submucosal lipoma henoch condin purpura may rarely cause intersusception 
close sign is seen in interception complete treatment of interception is indicated by free passage of barium in the terminal ileum post operative ileus is most pronounced in colon first to recover from post operative ileus is small intestine routine management of paralytic ileus includes electrolyte correction nasogastric aspiration and also iv fluid true about post operative ileus is no intestinal sounds are heard meckel's diverticulum is common on anti mesenteric border meckel's diverticulum contains ectopic gastric tissue it occurs in 2 percentage of population in meckel's diverticulum perforation occurs ectopic mucosa of meckel's diverticulum is diagnosed by technetium 99 radionuclide scan meckel's diverticulum is congenital it is true diverticular develops from omphalo mesenteric duct most common presenting complication of meckel's diverticulum is hemorrhage meckel's diverticulum is a derivative of vitello intestinal duct the most frequent congenital anomaly of the gi tract is meckel's diverticulum meckel's diverticulum is located 60 cm from the cecal valve bleeding is present here it is associated with intersusception meckel's diverticulum is found on the anti mesenteric border of the small intestine heterotopic gastric mucosa can ulcerate and cause a brisk gastrointestinal bleed a fibrous band between the apex and umbilicus can cause intestinal obstruction true about meckel's diverticulum is bleeding pr it can be leading point of intersusception the commonest presentation of meckel's diverticulum is bleeding most common congenital anomaly of small intestine is meckel's diverticulum most common is ectopic gastric mucosa bleeding may occur from the wall uncommon complication of meckel's diverticulum is malignancy efficacy of technetium pertechnate scan is increased by glucagon cimetidine and also pentagastrin acute diverticula is most commonly seen in sigmoid colon true about diverticulitis is left sided colon involvement is more common operation is not done for all patients true regarding colovesical fistula is commonly presents with pneumaturia most common fistula in diverticulosis of colon is colovesical colonic diverticulosis is best diagnosed by barium enema massive colonic bleeding in a patient of diverticulosis is from superior mesenteric artery in acute diverticulitis of the colon the sigmoidoscopic finding is mucosa is inflamed diverticular disease is common in colon duodenum and also stomach a obese old patient with diverticular disease if presented with perforation the treatment of choice will be hartman's procedure true statement about acute diverticulitis is sigmoid is the commonest site pericolic abscess can occur conservative treatment may be successful in severe attack rigid sigmoidoscopy is the initial treatment for sigmoid volvulus true statement about volvulus is sigmoid volvulus is the most common in the absence of ischemia mesocolpexy is done elective sigmoid resection after detorsion is main treatment method for volvulus in cecal volvulus right hemicolectomy is the treatment of choice obstruction with multiple air fluid levels in a newborn is suggestive of midgut volvulus Bird of prey sign is seen in the radiographic barium examination of sigmoid volvulus. True statement about cecal volvulus is it is more common than cecal basule. Right hemicolectomy is the treatment of choice. Truly it is cecocolic volvulus. Coffee bean sign is usually seen in volvulus. Rotation of sigmoid volvulus occurs either clockwise or anticlockwise. Hirschsprung's disease, Chagas disease, chronic constipation these all are predisposing factors for sigmoid volvulus. Hatchett's classification for the invasion level of polypoidal lesion is level 0 mucosal invasion superficial to muscularis mucosa that is carcinoma in situ, level 1 submucosal invasion limited to the head of polyp, level 2 submucosal invasion of the neck, level 3 submucosal invasion anywhere in the stem. level 4 submucosal invasion below the stem without reaching muscularis propria so the question here is according to hatchett's classification a polyp invading neck in between head and stalk is level 2 intestinal polyp that can potentially grow into cancer is adenomatous polyp 
Cowden's disease is characterized by fibrocystic disease of breast and breast cancer, facial trichelemomas, acral keratosis. Polyp more than 2 cm, villous polyp, cellular atypia, these all are risk factor for malignancy in polyp. Carcinoma of colon develops in all patients with familial adenomatous polyposis. Diagnosis of colonic polyp is best done radiologically using double contrast barium enema. Sessile polyp has maximum malignant potential. Incidence of malignancy is maximum in villous adenoma. True statements about malignant potential of colorectal polyp are polyps of the familial polyposis coli could invariably undergo malignant change. Villous adenoma is associated with high risk of malignancy. Juvenile polyps have little or no risk. Polyp which is pre-malignant is familial adenomatous polyposis. Polyp which is not pre-malignant include juvenile polyposis syndrome, putz jagger syndrome, pseudopolyps in ulcerative colitis, Cronkite Canada syndrome. Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis and Barrett's esophagus, these all are pre-malignant lesions. Metabolic abnormality seen in large colorectal villus adenoma is hypokalemic metabolic acidosis. Lelitha, a female patient presented with pigmentation of the lips and oral mucosa and intestinal polyps. Her sister also gives the same history. Most probable diagnosis is putz jagger syndrome. Strong correlation with colorectal cancer is seen in familial polyposis coli. Familial adenomatous polyposis is an autosomal dominant condition caused by APC gene mutation on chromosome 5q. Screening is done by sigmoidoscopy. Polyps developed in late adulthood. Epidermal cyst and osteomas may occur. Recommended treatment of familial adenomatous polyposis involving sigmoid colon is total colectomy with IPAA. In familial adenomatous polyposis, we need more than 100 polyps to make the diagnosis. In familial adenomatous polyposis, we have mutation in APC gene which is located on chromosome 5q. Endometrial carcinoma is a prominent association of HNPCC. Most common associated cancer in familial adenomatous polyposis is periampullary carcinoma. True statement about familial adenomatous polyposis is duodenal adenoma is seen in 60 to 90 percentage of patients. Gardner syndrome is associated with desmoid tumor, osteoma and also abnormal dentition. Turcot syndrome is associated with familial adenomatous polyposis and also brain tumors. The most common facial abnormality in Gardner syndrome is multiple osteomas. Following genetic counseling in a family for familial polyposis coli, next screening test is APC gene. Ulcerative colitis and familial polyposis coli are pre-malignant conditions. Based on epidemiological studies, high fiber diet has been found to be most protective against carcinoma colon. Genetic abnormality in case of late adenoma to carcinoma in carcinoma colon is P53. APC gene, KRAS gene, mismatch repair gene, these all are involved in development of carcinoma of colon. Cholecystectomy may lead to increased risk of proximal colon cancer. Dietary factors associated with colon carcinoma are low fiber, high fat intake and also Japanese people are common to develop carcinoma colon. Putz jagger syndrome is not pre-malignant. Ulcerative colitis, villus adenoma, familial adenomatous polyposis, these all are pre-malignant. Most common site of colonic carcinoma is sigmoid. Constricting type of colonic carcinoma is seen in left colon. Ramo is 60-year-old male with carcinoma descending colon presence with acute intestinal obstruction. In emergency department, treatment of choice is Hartman's procedure. Carcinoma of right colon presence as anemia and mass in right iliac fossa. Feature of left side carcinoma colon are obstruction and also altered bowel habit. True regarding carcinoma colon is solitary liver metastasis which is not a contraindication for surgery. Virtual colonoscopy have better image than conventional colonoscopy. Virtual colonoscopy is performed by CT and MRI. It is helpful in pathology outside colon. Colonic diseases can be diagnosed by barium enema and also by virtual colonoscopy. Colonic metastases are related with depth of invasion. 
Screening sigmoidoscopy is an acceptable screening technique for detecting recurrent colon cancer. Most important prognostic factor for colorectal carcinoma is lymph node status. Most important prognostic factor for colorectal carcinoma is stage of lesion. The best investigation for colorectal carcinoma is colonoscopy and biopsy. The commonest site of perforation during colonoscopy is sigmoid colon. Management of carcinoma rectosigmoid with obstructive carcinoma in elderly frail is colostomy, Hartman procedure and also laser recanalization. Thumb printing appearance of colon on barium enema is seen in ischemic colitis. True statement about ischemic colitis is inferior mesenteric artery is commonly occluded in cases needing aortic surgeries. Ischemia is more common in small bowel as compared to large bowel. Most common site of post ischemic stricture is sigmoid. Most common site of post ischemic stricture is sigmoid colon. A 60 year old patient presents with abdominal pain and constipation. On examination, patient is afibrile, pulse rate is 94 per minute, and blood pressure is 110 by 70 mmHg. The abdomen is distended and tympanitic, but there are no evidence of peritoneal signs. Abdominal radiograph is suggestive of sigmoid volvulus. The first step in patient's management would be sigmoidoscopy. True statements about LGI bleed are Bleeding from colonic diverticula usually occurs at the neck. Massive colonic hemorrhage complicates ulcerative colitis more commonly compared to Crohn's disease. Hady syndrome occurs in association with aortic stenosis. Definitive treatment of cecal volvulus is right hemicolectomy. The treatment of patient with colonic cancer T3N0M0 is surgery followed by chemotherapy alone for patients with high risk histology. True statement regarding colonic physiology are the primary fuel for colonocyte is butyric acid. Following abdominal surgery, the colon is the last segment of the gastrointestinal tract to resume motility. Within the contiguous GI tract, the concentration of bicarbonate is highest in the colon. Colonoscopy is the best diagnostic tool for ischemic colitis. A patient presents with osteomas of the mandible, multiple lipomas and sebaceous cyst, a history of multiple dental abnormalities and an apparent fibrotic retroperitoneal mass on CT scan obtained for abdominal pain. The next step in management of this patient is colonoscopy. According to Hadjit's classification of colorectal polyp, a level 0 polyp refers to non-invasive carcinoma in situ. Endoscopic excision is usually adequate treatment for level 1 and level 2 polyp. Carcinoma from level 1 polyp invades the muscularis mucosa but remains contained within the head of the polyp. Treatment for HNPCC includes subtotal colectomy and all female patients should be offered prophylactic hysterectomy or oophorectomy. The earliest mutation of adenoma carcinoma sequence in the development of colorectal cancer is mutation in APC. Desmoid tumor associated with familial adenomatous polyposis is locally invasive. Presently, the preferred chemotherapeutic regime for stage 3 colorectal cancer is Folfox. For screening the family members of patients with familial adenomatous polyposis, colonoscopy is started at the age of 10 years. Hypothyroidism, malignant infiltration of the celiac plexus, neuroleptic medications, these all are associated with Ogilvy syndrome. A 24-year-old woman who has ulcerative colitis is admitted to hospital because of fever, bloody diarrhea and abdominal tenderness. Medical treatment including the use of parenteral steroids is started. During the next several days, the woman becomes increasingly ill. An abdominal x-ray now showed a transverse colon diameter of 12 cm but no free intraperitoneal air. The treatment of choice would be total proctocolectomy. True statements about colonic cancer is loss of heterozygosity in malignant transformation involves both tumor suppressor gene inactivation and oncogene activation. All perforated colon cancers are considered T4. N2 refers to involvement of greater than 4 regional lymph nodes. Most common cause of intestinal obstruction is postoperative iatrogenic adhesions more than malignant tumors more than hernia more than Crohn's disease. Most common site of intestinal atresia is duodenum. Most common cause of neonatal intestinal obstruction is duodenal atresia. Ogilvy syndrome is also known as colonic pseudo-obstruction. 
best investigation for diagnosis of colorectal polyp is colonoscopy more than double contrast barium enema. Cowden's disease is characterized by multiple hamartomatous tumors arising from all three embryonal cell layers, mucocutaneous lesions, developmental anomalies and a predilection to develop breast and thyroid neoplasia. McKittrick Wheelock syndrome is villous adenoma causing profuse watery diarrhea and hypokalemia, hyponatremia, hypochloremia and metabolic acidosis. Severe volume loss can lead to acute renal failure and cardiovascular collapse. Treatment is resuscitation followed by resection. Incidence of duodenal polyp in patient with familial adenomatous polyposis is 90 to 100%. Incidence of duodenal carcinoma in the patients with familial adenomatous polyposis is 0 to 5%. Barium swallow is used for anatomical disorders of esophagus. Barium meal is used for anatomical disorders of stomach. Barium meal follow through is used for anatomical disorders of small intestine. Barium enema is used for anatomical disorders of large intestine. Enterocolysis is also known as small bowel enema which is used for small intestine. Single most important independent prognostic factor for colorectal carcinoma is lymph node status. Most important prognostic factor for colorectal carcinoma is stage of the disease. Most common site of bleeding after colonoscopy is stalk after polypectomy. Most common site of perforation during colonoscopy is sigmoid colon.